Hello everybody, Stuart here from Stubu Gaming. Playing Van Helsing, uh, still playing Van Helsing 1 of course, but uh, I haven't completed the game yet, so uh, I did want to finish that first. Now, I'm in a bit of a, a strange situation where my character, as you can see, appears to be wearing a red jacket. Now, the reason I'm saying that's a bit of a strange situation is because he shouldn't be wearing a red jacket. He should actually be wearing a greyish coloured well it's actually if you have a look blue um, and if I take it off I start wearing a grey jacket again the reason I'm saying it's so weird is because it kind of matches my gun and my backpack which are part of a different set and when I go to my character select screen which I will show you now my character has a normal colour jacket on, so a bit of a strange one, but I suppose it's neither here nor there really. So for this video I want to uh, do my side mission, because I've got one more side mission in this particular town before I carry on with the main quest. Um, I have actually got to the ink gate, and if you remember in the last one I did kill the uh, big multi-legged weird abomination thing um, in my video entitled what is that um, which I think was quite appropriate but before I actually move on with the main story and travel into the ink gate in the mines uh, let's go and get the bag from this ink Well, I was not expecting to be attacked immediately before I'd even actually spawned in. Um, but that's definitely what seems to have happened, so... We will uh, try and take these out from a distance. I'm glad I've selected her to actually be um, a ghost during combat, because... The last thing I want to do is... Have to, or that I would like to do is... Uh, need to look after her as well. I have enough trouble keeping myself alive most of the time. And I must admit, when I was playing this before, and I was having to look after her, I was doing a terrible job of it. She was always getting killed. Oh my god. My inventory is always full. I, th I think it's just one of those things. Right, so let's transfer all stuff that's not... Nailed down. No. Um, let's transfer all stuff that is not a set item or a legendary. Are they legendary or unique? Epic. Okay. Completely wrong on all counts. Obviously, I'm not going to transfer the ones that uh, I have no better version of. That would make no sense at all. Um, let's have a look. Right, okay. Let's send her to town. Yes, you will, but I'll still be able to pick stuff up. There we go. I can always sell that after. There we go. No idea why I can't just kick it. should probably not even bother picking up the uh, blue items now. I should probably just focus on the uh, rare, which are the yellow. Right, so I'm going to start from now. Honey, I'm home. Really? Really? 
I'm actually quite surprised. I'm not really taking much damage at the moment, which uh, is mildly surprising. I didn't think I'd... Ooh, that's... Nothing in either of those, then. Oh, my dodge is ridiculously high. That might be because I've now got a three-set bonus. Okay. bag okay speak to the alchemist thank you I can do science again my pleasure okay so we completed that one and we can now buy oh I can enhance items let's try ah so I can't select, I can't select epics or um, set items. Okay, that kind of makes sense. What about dismantle? I'll select any. Enhance essence, combine essences. Ah, uh, okay, so... Bit confused. Oh, okay. I have no idea what that is. Never mind. Right, so that is me. Oh, I've leveled up again. It's interesting. And I'm plus 19% on my mastery as well, which is good. Um, how are my auras doing? So I don't know why I've got that one active, because there's absolutely no point in me healing a ghost. She doesn't get hurt. So let's activate that one as well. Set as aura 2. There we go. Yeah, so heals Lady Katrina by 2.9 for every point of rage. Well, A, I'm not spending that much rage. And B, she doesn't actually get hurt, so yeah, completely pointless at this stage. Spring Healed Jump. Um. Explosive aids creates four mechanical spiders that follow you around. If any enemy approaches any of them, the spider in question will charge the target and explode. Doesn't look like I can. Look like I can select that. Why can I not select that other one? 
Uh, minimum level 17. Okay, I got you. Um, minimum level 12. I don't think any of those have any um, negatives. They don't have any prerequisites, is the word I was looking for. Mechanical allies receive a bonus damage boost. Frost trap, fulgurous discharge. Creates an arc that damages the target with electrical damage, then jumps to the nearest. Ooh, can I get that? No, I need 13. Okay. I've got all the prerequisites for it, though, which is useful. And this one. I might just keep my skill points, to be fair. Let's um, get rid of some of these. I was about to send her shopping, which is stupid because she's in shop in the shop. Um, Katarina, sell. She's got the short blade equipped. I, there's absolutely no point in me actually uh, doing anything other than oh, actually, let's give her some. Sell that. Sell that. May as well give her some better armor. She doesn't need any of those, so I'll sell all of those. She's got those equipped. So it's just the Brigandine, which is cool, because uh, I can just stick that on her right now. There we go. Okay, now let's travel to the... I always pressed the wrong button. Um, I think it's Gallows Bog North. Definitely was Gar Gallows Bog North. Um, let's get the Brigandine. I think this is where I need to actually go into the ink. There we go, Horacalcum Mines. That's what I need. Okay, so find your way to the mines. Done. considerably hurt me. It wasn't very really nice. Well, there we go. I wasn't expecting that. Spiders seem to die really quickly. I don't get it. Let's go this way. Do I want to go this way? I probably don't want to go this way, but...
Right, I'm hoping. Because I've got the caltrops out as well. Oh, that hurt. Excellent. Yeah, I'm starting to get hurt now. I was wondering why I wasn't getting hurt at all, and it was obviously, uh, possibly just the level of the area that it was, because uh, I had waited to do that quest quite a long time. These are starting to cause me pain. Which is good, because that could have been really dull if, uh, wow, that was uh, considerably less difficult than I was expecting. Now, I am sure I picked up, no I didn't, I wanted to pick up but I couldn't. I was going to say, I was just about to uh, complain that I wasn't using the new skill and then remembered I couldn't get it. Garantula. Okay. Don't think there's going to be any bosses in this particular... Uh, video because I get the feeling that this is going to be just a long-winded uh, tunnel in effect. And if that's the case then it's all going to be about um, oh I didn't mean to do that Yeah, I don't know what I did, but I obviously pressed the teleport home button. Um, I can't even remember what that button is, which is hilarious. Um, so I would say I'll avoid doing that again, but that's going to be hard when I don't know what I did wrong. Oh, there is a boss. 
Okay. That's quite a big boss as well. Oh my god. I'm really pressing all the wrong buttons at the moment. Well, that was not fun. Well, after all of that, I got no special items. A load of rares, but no set or anything else. That is disappointing. Because that was a tough boss. Very tough boss, I would say. Trap a hat. Okay, so I think this area is pretty much finished. I'm hoping this area is pretty much finished. There's loads of things on the floor, but every time I uh, activate one or turn one over, a load of spiders uh, emerge, which is not ideal. Hopefully, these guys won't have let any spiders through. And here we go. So, I'll go through um, and then... Well, actually, I'm not going to go through. What I'm going to do is I'm going to leave the video there because uh, I do think that as soon as I go through, it's going to probably create a, a nice cutscene, etc. So, 
Thank you for watching guys. If you've enjoyed the video, please make sure you do click the like button. Subscribe if you're new to the channel and when you do, please also make sure that you do um, click the bell icon uh, so you are notified when I upload next. If you want to support the channel further, then please do uh, visit my Patreon page. I have put the address in the final end screen. Um, unfortunately, I can't put a link there, but uh, if you put the address into any uh, browser, any search engine, etc., it should take you directly to the page. I've got a couple of tiers set up already. Uh, I am still working out some of the uh, benefits, but there are some benefits already in place. So uh, if you, as I say, head over there, any anything that you want to pledge will be extremely welcome. So uh, yeah. Um, it will really help me out a load as well. Um, I would, as uh, always, like to thank my current patrons, uh, Just Jeff, Funky Hands, uh, Ernest McCosh and Dave J. Uh, you guys are awesome, so thank you very much for the support you're giving me at the moment. It's, uh, it's amazing, so really helpful as well. If you want to support me in different ways, you can always just leave me a comment on this video. Uh, let me know what you think of the video. Let me know what you'd like to see uh, in space you know specifics so if there's a certain character type that you want to see in this game um, if you just want me to rush it through so that I can get to uh, Van Helsing 2 or even Van Helsing 3 let me know all of this detail down below so that I can start giving you exactly what you're you're after seeing so there we go thank you very much for for your attention and for your views and uh, I look forward to seeing you for my next video very soon you all take care bye for now